It is time for business news with Richard Southern. And Richard, Loblaws, of course, made a big splash yesterday by freezing the prices on some products. But there could be more to this story. Yeah, there sure is. Erica, good to see you. Boy, it was big news from uh, Loblaws. Uh, price being frozen on its no-name products. I mean, there's 1,500 of these no-name products, and they're going to keep the price the same until the end of January next year. This includes everything from apples to coffee pods to bagels to pasta, butter, and toilet paper. Sounds good, right? Well, enter Metro today, which is the third largest grocer behind Loblaws and Sobeys. Metro, in a statement, says that doing this is actually industry practice. They say it's normal to freeze private label product prices between November and February. Interesting that comment. Uh, Sylvan Charlebois, the food professor at Dalhousie University, actually calls that comment, quote, disturbing. The uh, grocers still have the liberty to do whatever they want with retail prices, but in Metro's statement, it wasn't mentioned which really was implying that there was collusion going on, which really got a lot of people confused. And uh, again, today, a lot of people think that Metro actually went ahead with a price freeze, which is not the case at all. They didn't do anything. They didn't decide to do anything. I think the intent here for Metro was to undermine Loblaw's announcement yesterday. Now, last month, the federal government announced it was uh, going to investigate whether or not grocery chains are overcharging people. Uh, coming up tomorrow, we're going to get the latest reading on inflation, which will include the latest price breakdown at the grocery store. So a lot of moving parts here, Erica. All right. And the holidays are just around the corner, and this might not be the merriest of season for retailers, Richard. Yeah, there's inflation again going to make for a bit of a challenging holiday for many people with, uh, you know, the prices for toys and for all sorts of things going higher. A new report says holiday spending in Canada is expected to drop this year. And its 2022 holiday retail outlook, Deloitte, says overall spending is expected to drop 17 percent. The average household to shell out about 1500 bucks on the holidays old told. It seems Canadians are trying to plan ahead to save a bit of scratch this year. 26% say they want to have all their shopping done by Black Friday. Retailers, as a result, are rolling out Christmas-themed sales and product launches earlier. Amazon, for example, introduced early Prime Day access this year. Right. Eric. And finally, there's a renewed push to get young people interested in the skilled trades, Richard. Yeah, I mean... We are in need in Ontario of more skilled trade workers. One in three skilled trade workers are over the age of 55. So what did the Ontario government do today? They announced a plan to launch um, skilled trade fairs for students age 7 to 12 to give them hands-on access and teach them about different types of skilled trades. They're going to launch the first such fair in Mississauga, a three-day event next week. Um, you know, this is everything from iron workers to carpenters, welders and landscaping technicians. Some of these workers can make like six figures. Not bad at all. Uh, any uh, students or parents interested in this being advised to talk to their counselor. Good career opportunity there, Erica. Much needed. Yep. Much needed.